Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center uh, with an addendum to our rhythm training series. Um, the addendum is especially for the longer clubs, the fairway woods, the long irons, the hybrids, and the driver. And uh, the tool that I'm using, fantastic training aid, is this rake. So uh, the, you go to a, a golf supply, uh, uh, more of a golf supply outfit, see if they'll sell you one of these. It's just um, a broom handle, right, that they painted yellow. But it's especially the tip of this. It's a plastic tip, but it's very flexible. It's not brittle. And uh, it's got a little bit of a curved bottom to it. And it's just fantastic as a tool for swinging. So you're going to turn it upside down. You're going to get set up. Let everything hang from the shoulders, so you let it hang there. And then you'll make a couple of swings with it. And one thing you'll notice, when you're making those swings, is that the takeaway will feel a lot wider, right? Feels like the head of the rake is on a rail, it's already on the arc, and it's just gliding off the mat, or it's gliding off the grass. See how wide that is? Notice how nice it is when I'm swinging. So if you look at it from this angle here, get my driver out of the way. <laughs> All right. Feel the weight of that arm rake unit. Flies. And there it is. You notice how long it takes for me to complete that cycle. So one of the other advantages to the rake is that you won't rush it. Right? You're always looking for, okay, where is it? Is it going to stick in the ground? So if you pick it up and you're going for, for those of you who have a tendency to, you know, go for the ball, well now the rake can't deflect off the turf very well. So you go back to my grass whip video. Just feel like you got a grass whip with a longer blade. If you remember in my original three disc DVD set, I was using a scythe, right? So this got this huge long blade, right, on this, this particular uh, special handle, and you're just cutting that hay with this scythe. It's this long blade that sticks out. If you don't perform it with the proper tilt, well, then you're going to stick the thing in the ground, right? It's going to be a long day. So you want to feel the same thing here. You're just allowing the whole bottom of that rake to deflect across the ground. You set it into a little perpetual motion. Right? So let's have a look at that in slow motion. If we look at what that's going to translate to with a golf club, imagine you're taking your driver and the club head is resting right on the, right on the blades of this rake. So it's already sitting on this rail and you feel like the driver is taking, you know, going up, coming back down and coming back up on this rail. That's how I can hit the driver right off the deck, right? So if I'm playing the driver off the deck, the center of the club head is in the center of my stance. Let's say I'm playing a, 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 you know, a little bit of a draw, so I'm going to play the ball a hair back of that. Feel the weight of the arm club unit. Feel like it can bottom out right there. And I'm just going to let it ride that rake back and through. So you notice how the club stayed quite a long time along the ground. It should brush the grass very wide. It actually brushed the grass all the way back here, all right? That was one of Mo Norman's favorite drills. He put a big dollar coin on each side. 44 inches that way, 22 inches this way. That's, that's what his measurements were. So that's quite a long time to brush going back. And then that was as a drill though, not as you're hitting balls because as you're coming through, you're going to catch the ball here, brush here. It's going to brush a little less before it comes back up.
especially if it's on a T. So now when I put it on a T, here's the image. Imagine that rake now, the leading edge of that rake, catching it on the way up. You don't want to feel like you're catching it on the way down. So you notice how the trailing edge of the rake is still on the ground and the, the leading edge of that rake is catching the ball on the way up. So that feels very much like it's coming from the inside, okay? That's why with these club heads, the wider the club head, the more forward you need to play the ball as far as you know, having the ball on the ground with the fairway woods. So the club, the center of the club and the center of the stance, the ball just in front of that for the draw, maybe just a hair forward of that for the fade. So I wanna feel now I'm gonna be catching the tip of the tee on the way back up. Down, up. Still feels like I'm coming back, I'm coming in from the inside, okay? Boom, right over that keep out sign, just like I wanted, caught the ball right up on. So the hands are leading, and then basically when everything releases, it's releasing from this point right here, and that's basically, you're still catching the ball well from the inside, all right? So I hope you enjoyed that. Any questions, get on the forum, let's have a chit chat, and uh, we'll talk to you later.